Our next guest, of course, known as the legendary guitar player for The Who and uh, uh, making uh, all kinds of money and getting a lot of awards for his Broadway production of Tommy. How about that, Tommy? Saw it. Great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he has a uh, brand new CD, ladies and gentlemen, right here. It's uh, entitled uh, Psycho Derelict. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program rock and roll legend Pete Townsend. Pete! <laughs> I don't know why I'm not playing a song from my new album. Do we care? Ever since I was a young boy, I've played the silver ball. From Soho down to Brighton, I must have played them all. I've never seen anything like him in any amusement hall. That deaf, dumb, and blind kid sure plays a mean pinball. He stands like a statue, becomes part of the machine. Even on the bump purse, always playing clean. He plays by intuition, the digit counters fall. That deaf dumb and blind kid sure plays a mean pinball. He's a pinball wizard, has to be a twist. A pinball wizard that just has to stop over here. How do you think he does it, boy? I don't know. What makes him so good? He ain't got no distractions, can't hear no buzzes and bells. Don't see lights of flashing, plays by such a spell. Always gets a replay, never tilts at all. That deaf dumb and blind kid sure plays a mean pinball. Never see him fall, that deaf to my blind kid. Sure plays a mean pinball. Let's do something for the world. Let's do something good for those kids. For charity, for everything, let's do something really fun! That will be deducted from your fee tonight. <laughs> How did that begin, you busting up stuff? You know, I, w uh, I wanted to, to uh, play the clarinet. <laughs> and, uh, my father was a clarinet player, and, he, and, and uh, he, when I was about eight, he let me play the instrument. And, and I couldn't get a sound out of it. And I, he, he said, well, maybe you could try the, the instrument that I started on, which was the guitar. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, well, that would be good, and waited a few years. And, and uh, when I was 11, 
Christmas came, and my father was a good musician, and I expected him to buy me a, a fine instrument. And, but my grandmother, who was, uh, you know, it's to put, a li put it politely, because she is my beloved, beloved grandmother, who brought me up and looked after me when I was young, she was clinically insane. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> That's almost flattering yeah, when you we, put it that way. <laughs> we didn't ever get her to a clinic, unfortunately. But, um, and uh, it was elected that she would buy me my first guitar. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it was, except yeah. she bought me one of those things that you hang on the wall of the Italian restaurant. <laughs> and I took it a, to my... A, a big, more, no, more no, no, ornamental... No, no, that's right, kind of a cheap scraggy guitar with the strings about that far. And it was kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're going to sell this for charity. <laughs> yes. We will. Um, it's worth more broken than yeah. it is. In my, it's true. So Grandma gives you the old cheap Italian yeah, wall yeah, hanging and, guitar. And eventually, eventually, uh, my father kept saying, well, when you can get a tune out of this, I'll buy you a good mm -hmm. one. So I thought the best thing to do was maybe to have an accident. <laughs> with the guitar. Yeah. And that's how it started. So you busted up your very first guitar that Grandma Yeah, yeah and I, you know, she, she was clinically insane, and it's kind of been the one ribbon that's run continually through my life. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I understand, well, I think we have evidence of it here, uh, this is protection because of a recent injury. You know, on the 89 Hoot Tour, I speared myself. You know, I did this wind Yeah, you thing. did it here, as a matter of fact, not long That's ago. That's right, I did yeah. it here, yeah. Yeah, it's very exciting, very dramatic to see. It's, it's a dramatic Yeah, concert. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, uh, I was using a guitar that was uh, actually created for Eric Clapton, and he, you know, he has this thing, it's called a whammy bar. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I speared my hand on the whammy bar. And it went in through the hand and out the other side. Oh! Oh! And I picked up the guitar and it was hanging. Oh! Oh, oh, man, you're, you're making us all sick. That's right, come on! <laughs> so so what, what the heck happens? What, uh, how, what does that do you know, to the show? I, I was lucky. It, it, uh, it, it bled a lot, but it yeah. was... It was it but was... you can't finish up the show like that with your guitar hanging out of your hand, can you? <laughs> no, I slipped it off. I slipped. <laughs> bled a lot. Yeah. And uh, luckily, we're, we're, I think the accident happened in... Uh, Seattle. And there was a brilliant hand surgeon there, and, and I was lucky not to hit anything, and he cleaned it up. You know, I was supposed to be, later on, I was supposed to go and be on Larry's show, but it's cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> President Clinton needs something. He needs television for something. <laughs> and he's cancelled me. You would have never injured yourself had you stuck with the clarinet. No, that's right. Like, I'm going to oh, my God. Oh, maybe. What am I saying? Maybe even much, much worse. Uh, we have to pause here for another commercial. We'll be right back with Pete Townsend. Is uh, Psycho Derelict. Pete, good to see you. Congratulations on uh, all the success and a, and a great career. And do us a favor, come and see us at the new place. Thank you. Have a very nice summer. Pete good. Townsend. Good ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. My, uh, my thanks also to uh, Larry King, who was here earlier. And uh, I'm sorry, Cindy Crawford will not be here tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. She got a look at Herb and said, That's it, I'm getting a cab. <laughs> Uh, we'll have Cindy on just as soon as we possibly can next week or never. <laughs> we, we have five more. Good night, everybody.